Happy Friday Eve. I am happy to be here. Woo! Yesterday, that was that was some weather we had. Uh, I was way up there in PA um, to get home. I had the PA Turnpike, I had the Blue Route, I had 95. All kinds of water, all kinds of weather, all kinds of people not used to driving and the water and the weather. So that was fun. But um, eventually I got home and that was good. But then, then, <laughs> It was a special day at my daughter's school. Um, it's kind of like a uh, test drive or tap the water, check out the classroom. More importantly, I get to get a cubby. That's what she was looking forward to. But um, I had to take her, uh, which is great. <laughs> but um, I had to take her because my wife was supposed to have class at the University of Delaware, but she was home. And I was like, why? I thought you had class. She was like, oh, I do but it's online now. I was like, why is it online? She was like, because it's gonna be so bad out, they were able to move it online. Okay, okay, am I, am I still, are Violet and I still going to? She was like, yeah, I talked to her about it and she still wants to go. I was like, you, you've talked to her about, oh, all right, all right. And um, so, yeah, and then my wife added, it'll be an adventure. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was, because when we were driving to the school, my, my daughter was uh, starting to cry a little <laughs> in the back because she couldn't see out the windows. And she was like, turn on the windshield wipers. I was like, they're on. <laughs> she was like, why is it raining so hard? I was like, well, remember we were talking about Hurricane Ida? And then, then whoops, she was like, it's a hurricane. I was like, no close but no <laughs> um but it did clear up some but then then she did start to say i'm just gonna close my eyes let me know when we're there it's like this is an adventure though <laughs> um eventually i did get to kirkwood highway which is the the highway that connects wilmington and newark around here and um yeah, it was a cluster, and uh, there were emergency vehicles everywhere. They were detouring us all over the place because there were cars in the middle of Kirkwood Highway that were underwater. Um, being sent around, uh, yeah, there were people on top of their cars that had water all inside their cars, and I, I was, oh man, I was like, Violet, man, we're creating some memories. This is an adventure. She was sound asleep. She missed it. <laughs> I had to go through several areas of deep, deep water that if I did not have my Jeep, I would not have been driving through. That was, that was very scary, but we got home. And then of course there were two tornado warnings. So we were in the office cause there's no windows in here for, for those sessions. Um, but, but we made out okay. So I, I, I know I'm poking fun at it, but, but we're okay. I'm hoping everybody else out there survived everything going on as well. Um, a little sleepy today. Um, you know, because last night I finished that countdown to 15,000 words and um, was up real late and uh, typically, yeah, that was four hours sleep I only got yesterday. And uh, back in the day, I, I learned for myself that that's all I kind of needed was four hours sleep. So I, I would always crash by midnight and then I could get up at 4.15 or so and all would be well. And uh, yeah, yesterday I woke up, bounce up, all good. This morning, I got about six hours sleep and I just feel like a truck ran over me. Um, one of the books I was working, one of the books, one of the chapters I was working on in the book is about sleep. And um, in there, there's a pre-industrial Europe study where they uh, took a look at the households back at that time. And um, they would retire for several hours right after dusk. So as soon as that sun went down, they chilled out for several hours. Then they woke up a few hours later for a couple hours. Um, during this waking period, people would relax, ponder their dreams, or have sex. <laughs> Some would engage in activities like sewing, chopping wood, or reading, relying on the light of the moon or oil lamps. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could see, you know, after we crash for, couple hours there and woke up and be like, hey hun, how you doing? She'd be like, go chop wood. Go chop wood. I ran also. <laughs> 245 days of running. 5K every day. 
that's still happening. Someone was like, aren't you doing something this month? I'm like, yeah, I'm still doing this. I'm like, I always do that. Anything I talk about, brentevans.net. I, I, I got some stuff. I got some stuff. I still, yesterday was just a weather-filled day, so I'm, I'm shaking out the cobwebs still. Um, I'll tell you where the quote of the day came from in a second. Quality is much better than quantity. One home run is much better than two doubles. Steve Jobs. I learned that, yep, the Daily Stoic. See, random things come out of there, Mr. Ryan Holiday. But um, it's true, yeah, one home run is much better than two doubles. I mean, if you hit back-to-back -back doubles, you'd get the run, but then you need the two bat, all right. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Enjoy Friday Eve. I got my son helping me today. My son's gonna be helping, that's cool. And uh, then, ooh, where is it? Tomorrow, remember, New Music Friday. Make good choices, make it a good day. I'll see you then.